Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be sharing the top movies to watch in June 2023. From action packed blockbusters to heartwarming dramas, we've got you covered. Get ready to mark your calendars and grab some popcorn, because these films are not to be missed. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the best movies to watch in June 2023. My name's Miles Morales. I'm Brooklyn's one and only Spider Man. And things are going great. He's gonna be here any minute. The upcoming animated sequel, Spider-Man, Across the Spider-Verse, features Miles Morales and Spider-Gwen racing against time to stop Spider-Man 2099 from doing something bad. The movie also includes Spider-Woman, who is very pregnant, and Spider-Punk, who is considered by some to be the coolest Spider-Man variant ever created. The trailers and sneak peeks for the movie have generated high expectations, and it is possible that the sequel may surpass them. Miles. What we always woo, woo. Say? Miles's grades are pretty good. A in AP Physics. That's my little man. And a B in Spin. What? Ooh, okay. Miles. Are you trying? Mira, to that's why I'm okay. I gotta go. All right, F what? bye. Miles. Gwen. Wanna get out of here? Welcome to Spider Society. <laughs> Worlds collide in the Flash when Barry uses his superpowers to travel back in time in order to change the events of the past. But when his attempt to save his family inadvertently alters the future, Barry becomes trapped in a reality in which General Zod has returned, threatening annihilation, and there are no superheroes to turn to. That is, unless Barry can coax a very different Batman out of retirement and rescue an imprisoned Kryptonian, albeit not the one he's looking for. Ultimately, to save the world that he is in and return to the future that he knows, Barry's only hope is to race for his life. Bad trippy. Dude, this is catastrophic. This world must die. No! I'm not gonna lose there again. It's not Clark. My name is Kara. I will help you. Interesting group. Want some help? Wait, he's Batman? Harrison Ford returns as Indiana Jones in the fifth and final installment of the franchise, without Shia LaBeouf or Steven Spielberg and George Lucas behind the camera. The movie features a lively cast, including Phoebe Waller-Bridge as Indy's goddaughter, Mads Mikkelsen as the German villain, and Antonio Banderas, and Toby Jones as friends of Dr. Jones. The movie recently premiered at Cannes to a muted reception, but it is still worth watching in a movie theater as it marks Ford's last turn as his most iconic character. Sorry. Helena! Dr. Jones, get him. Hitler made mistakes, and with this, I will correct them all. You stole it. Then you stole it. And then I stole it. It's called capitalism. This way! Fasten your seatbelt. There might be some tablets. You've taken your chances, made your mistakes, and now a final triumph. You were clinically dead nine months ago. In the sequel, Hemsworth's Black Ops mercenary is tasked with another deadly mission, this time rescuing the family of a ruthless Georgian gangster from the prison. As expected, the action-packed sequel is doing what it can to one-up the first movie, with trailers already revealing some breathtaking set pieces of extraction too. And with Hemsworth already thinking about the next installment in the franchise, it's fair to be optimistic about Extraction 2. 
As a result, any fan of action movies should keep Extraction 2 on their radar for June 2023. We all write our own stories. Where is Richard? I'd like to speak to him. I'm here. This time. That's me, the Mero Mero, Mr. Richard Montañez. Flamin' Hot is the inspiring true story of Richard Montañez, Jesse Garcia, the Frito-Lay janitor who channeled his Mexican-American heritage and upbringing to turn the iconic Flamin' Hot Cheetos into a snack that disrupted the food industry and became a global pop culture phenomenon. What's happening? Layoffs, son. Lots of them. Frito-Lay isn't getting enough orders to keep the factory open. Who eats Cool Ranch anyway? That lady. Ow, 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 ow. What is it? It burns. You stop eating it. No, I like it. It works good. I had been searching for an answer. And there it was. They had been there the entire time. Hi. Mind if I touch your wiener? What? Your dog. No Hard Feelings is a movie that stars Jennifer Lawrence as a down-on-her-luck woman who is hired by some desperate parents to have sex with their virgin teenage son. The trailer is crude, with penis jokes, sexual innuendos, and various characters caught in compromising and embarrassing positions. The movie looks tasteless, tacky, and shameless, but it also seems funny as hell, which is a welcome respite from the mind-numbing explosions and CGI creatures that dominate countless other summer blockbuster movies. Our son. He's going to Princeton in the fall. Oh, I've heard of it. You know, we tried everything to bring him out of his shell. He doesn't come out of his room. He doesn't talk to girls. He doesn't drink. So when you say date him, do you mean date him or date him? Yes. Date him. Date him hard. Okay. I'll date his brains out. He volunteers at the animal shelter. Hi. Mind if I touch your wiener? What? Your dog. How about I give you a ride home? Um, this isn't the way to my house. It's a shortcut. You're my hostage. What you got down there? Something for me? <laughs> Why? You tried kidnapping me! You're 19, grow up! You're not here. We're not there. The car exploded. <laughs> Come get the girls, I have to stay here with Woodrow. I'm not the chauffeur, I'm the grandfather. Asteroid City is a 2023 American science fiction romantic comedy drama film directed and co-produced by Wes Anderson, from a screenplay by Anderson. Asteroid City is a poetic meditation on the meaning of life. It tells the story of a fictional American desert town circa 1955 and its junior stargazer convention, which brings together students and parents from across the country for scholarly competition, rest-slash-recreation, comedy, drama, romance, and more. Pulses indicate. What? Oh, the beeps and blips? We don't know. Some of our information about outer space may no longer be completely accurate. Anyway, there's still only nine planets in the solar system as far as we know, Billy. Except now there's an alien. What's happening now? I don't know. I don't like the way that guy looked at us. The alien. How did he, how did he look? Like we're doomed. Well, when there are scary things we don't understand, our minds try to fill in the blanks. Stephen King's short film The Boogeyman has inspired filmmaker Rob Savage five decades later as he creates his own world of trauma, loss, and loneliness. This isn't your usual horror film, in fact, it's more of a psychological thriller, a new term coined for films that show bruised and broken characters. This film has Sophie Thatcher, Vivian Lyra, and Chris Messina as one, not so very, happy family that has experienced the death of a loved one. Chris, who plays Will, has lost his wife, and his children have lost their mother. Loss is the one key emotion that drives the stories and the characters to wild imaginations and wilder realities, and that's what this film does. Meet the rest.
residents of Element City. Air usually has their head in the clouds. Oh, my new jacket! It's a story as old as time. Two characters from different and opposing cultures become star-crossed lovers and their love helps bridge the gap between people. Elemental is, at its core, a romantic comedy. While Disney Pixar joints have hinted at romance before, this is the first time the storyline has been so overtly romantic. The film follows the characters Amber Lumen, Leah Lewis, and Wade Ripple, Mamudu Afi, a fire and water element, respectively. After a comedic meet-cute, the two forge out on a mission together to uncover a mystery that is plaguing the fire neighborhood, but what really matters is the bond the two form. Sorry, buddy. Elements don't mix. Ooh. Hey! Plus, my dad would boil you alive. Why does anyone get to tell you what you can do in your life? Come on! Why do they even have these? Eh, who knows. Watch this! Whoa! Ember, I see a change in you. For centuries, our kind has stayed hidden on Earth. Transformers, Rise of the Beasts' latest outing follows a pair of human archaeologists from Brooklyn who come into an ancient conflict through a globetrotting adventure, with the Autobots that ties in with three factions of the Transformers race, the Maximals, the Predacons, and the Terracons. The movie is heavily influenced by the beloved Beast Wars storyline and will bring several beloved characters into the fray, including Optimus Primal, Rhinox, Arazor, and Cheetor. The movie recently premiered at Cannes and is tracking for a solid domestic debut in the $68 million range. You want it? Come and get it. You brought a human here? I'm nobody. I ain't even seen nothing. I'm not even seeing anything right now. Thank you, hold the lane, and you have a the aim. Stop. Stop! This is not our war. Optimus, we must trust each other to protect the home we all share. How big can this guy be? Uh, he eats planets. So, like, way bigger than a planet. 